Hello YouTube friends. Welcome to the Last Homely House. I'm Kate and today I want to tell you about the Christmas boxes for 2023. Every year I make a box full of all sorts of bits and pieces and this year's box is going on sale on the 5th of November at 7 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. So what's the first thing I can tell you that's in the box? I want to tell you about the fabric that I've chosen. Now you know if you've been here any length of time how much I love Liberty Fabric. And Liberty Fabric is very, very beautiful but quite hard to quilt with because it's so sheer. So of course Liberty have made quilting weight fabric for us quilters. And I've chosen some colours for you and some patterns for you to use in a number of different ways. Now. I've been experimenting with these for a few weeks now and today I want to show you how I'm making a few different things. Now, if you remember, I've been making quilts for Project Linus. Uh, I really enjoy making those quilts. We've made an Irish chain and a St Louis 16 patch and um, oh, all sorts of other ones. And tonight I'm going to make a wonky star. Now it's not my first wonky star. Uh, I made, uh, I helped my daughter, Martha, make a wonky star quilt for her new baby, Emile. And I have made wonky stars in the past, but I thought that this fabric would lend itself beautifully to making this block. Now it's a really easy block to make. And I've got it here laid out in front of me and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So here's the size I'm making. And these squares are three and a half inches. Now you've got your colours of fabric in here and I've chosen some white fabric or a solid colour fabric just to extend that a little bit so that I can make a decent size quilt for this Project Linus quilt. I've made three and a half inch squares and one of them is the colour of the fabric that I'm using and eight of them are my background fabric and then I'm going to make four star points and then I'm going to do something fun with the corner pieces as well. So I'm going to do that now. Let's move my tea. It's a fun and easy block to make and you can use the scraps that are left over from making another project if you like. First thing you need to do then is just take one of your squares here And make your first star point. Glasses on always helps I find. I've got this great setup here with my ironing board and a little cutting mat right next to my sewing machine and when you sew the first arm of one star there and fold it over then what I like to do now is cut round this so one easy way of doing that is to put your ruler on here and cut round this, but I just use my scissors and I before I cut the extra off, I just cut round this like so and then I'm going to cut that bit off just to avoid a lot of bulk. So let me show you how I position the next star point. I usually, I just do it by eye. So the next star point wants to be something like that. Okay, so put it where you want it and then flip it over and just make sure that it's crossing that bottom bit there. And stitch that one on. iron this back here before you cut your waist off here use it as the guide to cut your fabric and then you can cut your waist and that's one of my little star points if you just look up here that will go there 
and then I need to make one, two, three more star points to make my star. So once you've made all four of those little blocks there with your nine patch block here, then I thought I would do something fun with the corners, these blank squares here. And so I've cut some squares here, which are, for this size that I'm doing here, they're two and a half inches, and then I've ironed them in half. You can draw a line if you like, but what I'm gonna do with these now is I'm gonna put this onto the edge here and sew along either the drawn line or the pressed line directly on it. Sometimes when you do this kind of thing you want to be either side of the line but this time I want to be actually on the line. And I'm going to do all, all four of them. I've got them all ready and folded and then just pop it into the corner like that and sew along there. And you'll see that this makes a lovely, um, a lovely little detail when we see the bigger quilt. I love of thread bunnies. It's just a little piece of fabric that I run the stitches onto now, which means that I don't have great long tails all over the place. So there's my square there, and whoops a daisy, and then I'm just going to cut both of those off now because it's just this piece that I need. So I'm going to cut both of those confidently and then when I fold that over that edge has got a triangle on it. And you'll see what a lovely little detail that makes when I put it together with the rest of the quilt. Okay, let's trim that, it's a bit wonky. And now I'm going to stitch this block together in that kind of webbing way that I really like. It's very, very easy. One to two, and then two to three. And don't snip the th chain piecing as you get to the next piece of fabric. Just make sure it's lined up nicely. I learned all about webbing. I knew about webbing but I properly learned how, how to do this webbing system from um, Terry Rowland when I made my Big Terry scrap quilt which I absolutely love making. I think there might be another one of those in my future. Okay, bring that down there, open that up, and then we'll sew that one to that one. These star legs to this one, points, legs, and then the last little corner. So that's, that's all sewn in one direction. Okay. And I don't press it here, I just open them up and stitch them together and this is where you can make sure that you're nesting your seams beautifully. I 
it really is as quick as that. Space here and press that open. I'm just going to trim the edges a bit, neaten it off a little bit, but there's one of my blocks for my um, Project Linus quilt that I'm going to make, my star blocks. Uh, but then I'm going to make some other things as well, and, and I'll show you those now. Also in your Christmas box is a box of these Aurifil threads. Now, I love Aurifil. I've been using them for quite a long time now and I made my own thread collection which is in the shop but I wanted to make a particular thread collection that would be colours that would all blend in with these and that's what this box is here. And so you've got these gorgeous colours. This is my box and I've opened this one but yours will look like this with the lovely um, threads inside there in this little box. And so these are the threads then that blend in beautifully with these fabrics. It's a few days later now and I had a lovely time finishing this quilt. I put this backing on it, which I like very much, and then I quilted it, hand quilted with this thread uh, that's in your um, Christmas box pack. I'll put this on the board behind me. now will be another Project Linus quilt. So while I was making those stars I enjoyed myself and I made a lot more. Uh, just individual stars and I've quilted these onto a piece of backing and I think these might make pot holders or mats to put a hot plate on and I made a lot and I still have quite a few in progress. So what I'm going to do when I pack your Christmas boxes, I'm going to just randomly put one of these into some of the boxes until they've all gone. So <clears throat> I also made this, which is one of the little pin cushions. That's my virtual download in the shop, but they're really easy to make. And I made that using the fabric. I'll pop that into a box as well and any more that I make. And then finally I made this little Christmas stocking. Now these are really easy to make. I just made a template of a stocking and uh, drew around that, <coughs> excuse me. And I've quilted this again using each of these threads that are in this little pack here. And again, I'm going to put that into someone's box quite randomly. So I wish I could have made enough for everyone to get one, but some people will get one of the things that I've made out of this Christmas box fabric. Now tomorrow, uh, if you pop back and visit us tomorrow, I want to tell you about the book. Every year I write a little book that goes into the Christmas boxes. And this year it's, um, well, I think it's a bit more special this year. So tomorrow night, pop back and I'll tell you all about the making of that book. Put on your notifications. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow night.